For the first time in more than 30 years, a congressional hearing on discrimination against Asians, an issue both public and personal for Asian American lawmakers in both parties. The Asian American community has reached a crisis point that cannot be ignored. Since the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic, Asian Americans have been terrified by the alarming surge in anti-Asian bigotry and violence we have witnessed across our nation. 68% of these incidents and crimes were targeted towards Asian American women. This has to stop. The topic is especially poignant. In the wake of deadly shootings at spas in the Atlanta area this week, eight people were killed. Six were women of Asian descent. The full motive of the accused gunman, 21-year-old Robert Aaron Long, is still being investigated, but its effects are reverberating nationwide. Numerous cities held vigils last night, moments of grief I am so tired. and frustration. It's heartbreaking to notice and realize that time after time similar issues happen, and it's as if we're never hurt. It's as if the government doesn't care. Back at today's hearing, witnesses pointed to a long history of bigotry and abuse, from the Chinese Exclusion Acts of the 19th century to Japanese internment in World War II, to recent vicious acts of violence, including this assault on a 91-year-old man in Oakland's Chinatown, and just yesterday, an elderly woman in San Francisco. This, witnesses argued, undergirds less visible but also powerful issues. Actor and advocate Daniel Day Kim. I was speaking to a pollster during the recent elections, and I asked him why, when I see polling results broken down by race, do I so rarely see Asian Americans as a separate category? He heard my question, he looked me dead in the eye, and he said, because Asian Americans are considered statistically insignificant. It was a complex and at times tense hearing, as some Democrats raised racial slurs used against Asians, including during the pandemic. Stop using racist terms like Kung Flu or Wuhan virus or other ethnic identifiers and describing this virus. I am not a virus. Republicans like Chip Roy of Texas pushed back, arguing that too much is being made of race as a motive and America as racist. And it is chilling free speech. It seems to want to venture into the policing of rhetoric in a free society. We shouldn't be worried about having a committee of members of Congress policing our rhetoric because some evildoers go engage in some evil activity as occurred in Atlanta, Georgia. To that, Congresswoman Grace Meng reacted strongly. Your president and your party and your colleagues can talk about issues with any other country that you want, but you don't have to do it by putting a bullseye on the back of Asian Americans across this country, on our grandparents, on our kids. This hearing was to address the hurt and pain of our community to, and to find solutions, and we will not let you take our voice away from us. At the White House, President Biden ordered flags on federal property to fly at half staff for four days to honor the shooting victims in Atlanta. He and Vice President Kamala Harris travel there tomorrow to meet with Asian American leaders. For the